Marvell and Samsung had an announcement about an SOC uh, that that uh, I think is very provocative uh, and interesting. It absolutely is. By the way, our last episode may have been our best title ever: Chips and Sass kicking. I know. As we don't want to get that parental guidance label on our show. Uh, we so we're, we're PG. This is a family show, Pat. This is a family show for tech geeks, media people that care about what's important about the news and tech. We, we give the depth. Anyway, so yeah, Marvel and Samsung partnered up. Um, they're going to jointly develop a new system on chip, also known as a SOC, big S, little O, big C. Um, and the whole idea here is about enhancing 5G network performance. So this uh, new SOC that's being co-developed is going to be um, used basically on advanced radios. Uh, Samsung's big, massive MIMO. Uh, and they're planning on rolling this thing out soon. It's in like Q2 of 2021. So this is a short runway launch and development. Um, and it's all about basically new technologies, um, improving cellular radios, uh, expanding capacity, increasing coverage, lowering power consumption. Um, and it's, it's been built by the way with something important is we're gonna hear talked a lot through the lens of 5G, but it's also built to support 4G networks simultaneously. Multi-mode is really important right now because 5G is growing, but it is not pervasive. And so having newest technology able to support both the last and the next generation uh, is very important. So, you know, I think it's really uh, an overall strong partnership. I mean, this is really all about helping the operators. You know, they have a lot of demand, a lot of interest. People want better performance. Uh, the, these radios uh, and giving this access is, is got to be a priority for companies. And as I see it, um, this partnership, by the way, brings Marvell, which is a very strong player in this space, kind of under the radio are, um, aha, I'm punny, um, under the radar, not always getting its attention, but Samsung looked to Marvell because of its, uh, you know, really leading edge technologies that it's been building, uh, its capabilities to be a good partner, uh, probably a lack of overlap in, in competing areas. Their interests are more synergistic uh, and basically seeing them as the right company that could help them. So everything from, you know, improving uh, antenna to improving 3D beam forming pad, vertical, horizontal, so many things going on. But overall, as I see it, great partnership. This isn't one I think that we need to beat the crowd out of, but it is one that is going to be interesting in terms of delivering better performance in dense markets uh, through new 5G and legacy 4G LTE devices. Yeah, Marvell uh, is very capable of pulling in other people's intellectual property and partnering with them. And I think this is a good example. And and whether it's uh, on an SOC, whether it's a hardened ASIC, uh, I really like this play. Um, and you know, essentially, what Marvell does on the is doing here on the five G edge side is what AMD does on the uh, game console side, which is is having a semi-custom uh, implementation where they're pulling an IP from another vendor and, and creating value together. So I, I like this play. I like this play a lot. 